right, out here at the Legends course at Orange Lake Resort. This is actually the nicest course out here. And you can see from the scorecard there, I just shot a 40 on the front nine. So I'm gonna start my new series here. It's gonna be breaking 40. I'm gonna be playing the blacks today. And uh, I'm gonna be starting off with a par four here. Says it is 394 yards. Um, so yeah, I was hitting my driver good on the front nine. I'm gonna try and keep that going and see if we can't shoot in the 30s. So, here we go. Okay guys, ball ended up right here. There is a crazy wind up there. Still got like 188 to the pin. I think the wind just killed it. But, got to go over the water down there. You can see. And so the place you want to bail out here is probably to the right. So, I think I'm going to hit uh, my little two hybrid here and see if I can't get something over there. And uh, hopefully this wind doesn't kill it. Let's go. I think it just scooted onto the front of the green. That wind tried to kill it, but not today, boy, not today. All right, like I said, ball ended up right here on the front of the green. And so we probably got 30 or 40 feet to the pin. But anyway, the important part is it went over this mess right here. It got over this water. Got over this pond. Oh, look at the fish right there. What is that, guys? Can you see that fish? Holy moly. It's a big boy. Got a bunch of other little fish going around in here. There he goes. Swimming away. All right. So, yeah. Made it over the water. You want to come out here and take a vacation, go fishing? Go ahead. It's up to you. All right. Let's see if we can make this putt. We'll take a par on number 10. There we go, baby. All right, starting off good. Hey, on to the next hole, number 11. The important thing is to take your idea and see it through. Kimmons Wilson. Says it's 515 yards here. And uh, like I said, we're playing uh, one tee up from the back tees, uh, the black tees, and uh, yeah. Seems to be a pretty good yardage. Let's see what the yardage is here. You got ooh, the total yardage is 6,665 yards from the blast. So totally doable. But yeah, just gonna see if I can break 40. Um, if I do, then I will shoot in the 70s today. I think last time I played, I shot 79. I'm trying to get into the 70s more consistently. And uh, so, if I can shoot under 40, that'll do it. All right, pulled it a little bit, but we should be able to find it. We'll be able to hit it again because this is a par five, dudes. A long one. All right, good news and bad news, guys. I think my ball went over here somewhere in the junk. I could not find it, but we do have red stakes over there, so I'm just gonna drop one right over here. And the good thing it is, this is a par five. So I should be able to get up and down. I'll be hitting three now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna hit one down there. Woo, give myself a nice wedge shot in and then see if we can make par. Get up and down for par. Here we go. All right. Should have a wedge in there. Okay, should have ended up right here in the middle of the fairway. I got about 100 yards. 
to the pin. So I'm gonna hit a little 56 degree there. See if I can't drop one right close to it and save par on this bad boy. Let's go. Right. came up a little short there so might to get up and down for bogey i believe um could putt this but i'm gonna chip it i feel more comfortable with my chipping you guys have seen in other videos i usually put it pretty close when i chip put it in the hole well, i put it close so let's see see if i can do it again Okay, we are at hole number 12. And from back here, we have 158 yards. It's a nice little par three. You can see the water there on the left over there. Nice. And uh, got a bunker over there on the left too. You don't want to go there. So I would say you miss is probably right here. <clears throat> but the green looks big enough. So I'm going to hit an eight iron, a nice little easy eight iron and see if I can Get one on the putting service. Oh, well, <clears throat> hit that one kind of chunky and out to the right. So, looks like we're gonna be chipping and putting, chipping and putting. Get your t shirts at oldmanpar.com now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ball ended up right here. The pin is right over there. So, cool thing is that's on an upslope. So that'll help me just get it up in there and hopefully stop it right over there by the pin. Okay, not a bad shot there. I got about five feet. like that sometime what you got to do practice your button boys and girls ladies and gentlemen adults and juniors practice your button all right we are sitting at one over through three all right doing pretty good now I feel like we can do this maybe we can do it let's see all right next up hole number 13 there are two ways to get to the top of an oak tree one way is to sit on an acorn and wait the other way is to climb it. So we're fixing to climb this hole. It's a 398 par four. Seeming like I need a good drive over here. What do you think, guys? Beautiful drive. Draw him back in there. Give me a good kick. Yep. Just how I drew it up. Nice little draw. Started out to the right. So draw them back in there. Let's go see how far we got in. All right, ended up here right on the right side of the fairway. Nice drive there. I got about 170 in. Pins down there. Looks like it's might be in the front today. There is some water and rocks right there to the right. And there's a bunker long. So I think I'm going to hit an easy six right here. I could hit a seven, but I don't really have to get into it. I'm gonna hit an easy six. All right, pretty good. Fades a little bit. Well, that one went in the water. All right, it was looking good, real good, man. I thought it was gonna go there. If it was just maybe five yards to the left, it would have been excellent but anyway she went in the water here so because it was fading it kind of crossed over here so i'm gonna just drop right over here actually i think i can see it over there by the 
rock but i'm gonna drop right over here in this area here and i'll be hitting uh four so yep gotta get up and down for a bogey again let's see if we can do it all right we got this long one for bogey right here i put a little too much juice on the bad boy but hey we just made a putt a minute ago we may be able to make this one again if not we're gonna take a dub Double. I can pop this in. Boom! All right, here we go. Hey. That's what happens when you don't hit it in the right place. Everybody, you get a dub. All right, that double puts us at three over, just like that. So we got quite a few more holes. Maybe we can get some back, or maybe we can just par on out and uh, maybe shoot under 40 that way. We'll see, either way, let's keep going. Coming up on hole number 14. This is a 370 yard par four. And our quote of the day is, nobody ever hit a ball with his reputation. That's Mr. Arnold Palmer himself. All right, let's see if I can go hit it with my driver, not my reputation. was a low knuckler right down the middle almost like a stinger drive but hey it's right down the middle middle of the fairway oh i forgot to wish everybody a happy father's day out there all the fathers yeah i'm probably not gonna upload this video for a while so i'll say happy belated father's day just to see when it comes out who knows i may get to it quick you never know but Anyway, yeah, all the people who step up to be fathers and uh, all the stepfathers and the uncles and the older brothers do a good job with their kids and grandkids and just all that, yeah. Happy Father's Day to you. All right, guys, ball ended up right here in the middle of the fairway. We got about 135 yards to the pin. Got a couple of bunkers there. I think the bunker shouldn't be a problem. But if you leave it out to the right, bring your towel and your beach ball, because that's where you want. All right, so I'm kind of, I think I'm going to hit a pitching wedge here because I can feel the wind just pounding me in the back. So I'm going to hit a nice little pitching wedge and see where she ends up. Actually, I think it flew that bunker on the right, so we're either putting or we chipping. Uh, we got a nice look for birdie here. Maybe you can get one back after that terrible double on the back or well, the last hole. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we made it to number 15, which is a par three. It says it's 137 there, but I shot it, and it's actually about 143. So I'm going to be hitting a nine iron. And our quote here says, a person has to take risk to achieve. Yep, that's right, sometimes. But you also got to keep safe. Remember that. Here we go. Hole one. Hole one. Come on. Ooh. Oh, man. That was right on top of the pin. It's not a hole in one, but it had me thinking. Just for a minute, had me thinking. All right, guys. <clears throat> I thought I was on holding one watch for a minute, but she ended up a little long, but you can see it is right in line with that pin. From back there, what I saw was going right over the top of it. Over. Oh, we got a few more holes left, so we still got 
still got some more chances. We've got to have a couple of par fives left, so those will be some good chances. All right, on to the next. All right, we have arrived at hole number 16. And I think this is where Bubby Goff gets his quote from right here. You can see Arnold Palmer, what he says. Hit it hard. Hit it hard. Go find it. And hit it hard again. All right, it's a par four, 368 yards, so let's go hit it hard. Pulled it, Johnny. Well, pulled that one, so hopefully it made it to the other fairway. And I'll have a shot at the green anyway. All right, guys, my ball went left, two left. It's right over there, you can see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to contend with these trees right here. And is over here so there's a bunker on to the right over there um, it's about 156 I hope there's no water down there on the right but anyway we we'll hit a nine iron over there and uh, see if I can get it somewhere close to the green all right it drew I don't know if it got over there though. We'll go down there and see if we can find it. All right, guys. Ball ended up here. Drew right on in there. But it was a little short, like I thought. That's why I hit the nine. I didn't want to go in this bunker over here. But got about 40 yards to the pin there. So I'm going to hit a little 60 degrees if I can't drop one down on top of that pin. Let's as good as I could do. All right, not a bad shot there. Probably like 10, 12 feet, considering I had absolutely no green to work with. So, pretty happy with that. Turn, 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 turn. Oh! Thank you, thank you. Woo. That's how you do it, baby. Got the body nose. Woo! Don't you love it? Don't you love it when a plan comes together? <laughs> right? It was a good read. I started walking over there to the left because I was like, oh no, it's not going to break. But you saw it, baby. It broke right in there and got in his house. And he said, let me hide for a minute. Let me get old man Paul. Paul right here. All right. We needed that. Whew. Big confidence booster. All right. We got two more to go. Two more. Let's go. Okay, we've reached number 17. It is a 296 yard par four, so a short one. Um, and they tell you right there, we almost home, baby. It's not how much you have, but how much you enjoy that makes happiness. Some of y'all remember that now. Some of y'all need to take that to the heart. Come on, let's go, baby. All right, this one's pretty straightforward. There, There is some sand on the right down there, if you can see, but it's pretty wide to the left, so. The miss will be left here if you pull it left, but if you hit it right, you're gonna be in trouble. So I don't think I can get a drive there, but I'm gonna do my best, man. See how close we can get it. All right, that's a good one. Let's go, baby. It's going. All right, should be right in the middle. Get there right. Ooh. All right. She's on the green. All right. She barely ended up on the green right here, but hey, it was pin high. And uh, got a look at Birdie here. Nice little look. Looks like a pretty straight putt there. Just a misread, guys. I thought it was going to go that way a little bit, but it shall not do it. So we will take another par. All right, we got one more to go. We still three over. Can we do it? All right, we come to the last hole, guys, and this is probably the best advice when it comes to golf. Persistence pays. Why hit a conservative shot? When you miss it, 
you're in just as much trouble as when you miss a bold one. So go for the bold one. All right, we're gonna end the day. Par four, 417 yards. Um, so yeah, right now, three over here. All I gotta do is hit it down there and hit that big old wide fairway. I think it goes to the left after that, but I need a good, a good drive here. So I have a nice second shot in there to get a par or a birdie or something. No bogeys, no whammies, no whammies. Beautiful little draw right there. High and drawing. That's how you need to end it on the last one. Ball ended up right here, right in the middle of the fairway. But I can feel it. Can you hear it? You hear that wind? Man, wind must have killed it. I still got like 200 yards to the pin. And she's guarded up there by that bunker. And I got to get over that water. So, yeah, the miss is going to be right here. So, Ooh. I guess I'm going to hit the hybrid. If it gets there, great. If not, hopefully I'll go over to the right and have a chip be able to get up and down for a par. So let's see if I can do it. Here we go. I think it might be a little short up there on the right. Well guys, I cannot find my ball over here for nothing. And I know it was coming in this direction. I looked the video, looked at the video, but I can't find it at all. Now, there are a couple of holes up here that it could have gone down into, and she never will be seen again. It could have fell down that hole right there, right? And that's just a tunnel all the way down to you know where. And then even worse is this one. You can see. It goes all the way down. So, because I can't find the ball, I'm gonna have to drop one over here, but I know it was coming in this general area. So, that's one, hitting two. Okay, so I'll be hitting four. <clears throat> this'll be for uh, par right here. I'm gonna drop over here where I saw the, uh, the ball land. Well, a little short. That was for four. All right, this is for six. Double bogey. Well, the only thing I can shoot is a 40. I can't beat it now, but hey, at least I can tie it. All right, there we go. We ended with a double. Couldn't find a ball. That was twice today. Couldn't find a ball. So, ending with the double puts me at five over. And par's 35, so that's going to be a 40. That's going to do it for another video out here from the Legends at Orange Lake Resort. Great course. Um, unfortunate way to end it there because I was on track. All I had to do was par that last, and I would have shot a 38 or, or bogey it. At least I would have shot a 39, but couldn't find the ball, so you got to take your medicine. Can't find your ball, you got to drop. That put me at five over. Par was 35. 35 plus five is you guessed it, 40. So ended up shooting an 80 on the day. So close to the 70s. It makes you just want to just, you know, but uh, yeah, you got to keep plugging at it, keep practicing, keep playing, keep learning something. We're going to keep going to different courses, showing y'all some new places to go. If you like this place, hey, check it out, All right? Great weather, weather down here in Florida. It is a, a little bit over 100, but uh, hey, you get used to it. All right, so this is... Old Man Parr signing out from this episode of Breaking Forward. See you guys on the next go-round. Remember, 
reach down there, hit that subscribe, like, notification. We'll see you next time. Peace.